Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive a pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth we beseech, beseech you, O Lord, your grace, grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate in the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of a child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, whoever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father we entrusted our Savior to the care, to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is tried to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we commemorate the memorial of Saint Anthony Abbot. Saint Anthony, the celebrated father of monks, was born in Egypt around the year 250. After his parents died, he distributed his property to the poor and, beginning a life of penance, withdrew into solitude. He attracted disciples and labored on behalf of the church, giving support to believers during the persecution of Diocletian and attaining, assisting St. Athanasius against the Arians. He died in 356. We will now have a morning prayer of a church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us to belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship God, Wonderful in his saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God. Wonderful in his saints. Please be seated. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? 
Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day, the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night, I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders, Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span extends through all the earth, their words the utmost bounds of the world. There is placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who brought the Abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel said to Saul, Stop. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Saul replied, Speak. Samuel then said, Though little in your own esteem, are you not the leader of the tribes of Israel? 
the Lord anointed you king of Israel and sent to you in a mission, saying, Go and put the sinful Amalekites under a ban of destruction. Fight against them until you have exterminated them. Why then have you disobeyed the Lord? You have pounced on the spoil, thus displeasing the Lord. Saul answered Samuel, I did obey, obey the Lord and fulfill the mission in which the Lord sent me. I have brought back Agag, and I have destroyed Amalek under the ban. But from the spoil, the men took sheep and oxen, the best of what had been banned, to sacrifice to the Lord their God in Gilgal. But Samuel said, Does the Lord so delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obedience to, to the command of the Lord? Obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission than the fat of rams. For a sin like divination is rebellion, and presumption is the crime of idolatry. Because you have rejected the command of the Lord, He too has rejected you as ruler. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guest fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away. The new from the old and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh, fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
No magsimula si Jesus na mangaral at pagbigay ng mga bagong alituntunin sa mga tao. Marami ang namangha, marami ang naniwala at sumunod sa kaniyang mga sinasabi. Sapagkat bukas ang kanilang puso sa kaniyang mga pangaral. Ito yung isang bagay na dapat nating tingnan sa ating sarili sa tuwing tayo'y nakakakita o nakakarinig ng mga bagong bagay sa ating kapaligiran. Handa ba tayong tanggapin ang mga pagbabagong ito? Handa ba tayong sundin ang mga kalooban o mga kaloob ng nakakataas para sa atin. Sapagkat kung hindi tayo handa na sundin ang mga bagay na ito at sarado ang ating puso't isipan, kahit gaano pa kaganda ang intensyon o ang hangarin, hindi hindi tayo susunod. Hinding-hindi tayo maniniwala sapagkat unang-una ayaw tanggapin ng ating sarili. Ganito at ganito ang nararanasan palagi ng ating Panginoong Hesus. Sa tuwing siya'y gagawa ng kabutihan, sa tuwing siya'y makahikayat na maraming taong magbalik loob sa Diyos, ano ang palaging sinasabi ng mga pareseyo at mga eskriba? Sa lungat, sa batas, ang kaniyang sinasabi. Sa lungat, sa batas, ang kaniyang ginagawa. Sapagkat ayaw nilang masapawan, ayaw nilang buksan ang kanilang puso't isipan sa kung anumang mabuting bagay na sinasabi at hinahangad ng Panginoong Hesus para sa kanila. Kaya nga't hanggat sa huling sandali ng buhay ng ating Panginoon, marami at marami ang sumasalungat sa Kanya. At kahit sa ating personal na buhay, ito'y ating nararanasan. Ito'y palagi nating pinapaunawa sa mga nakakabata sa atin o nakakatanda na pag mayroong pagbabago, tingnan mo na natin ang layunin. Ano ba ang sinasaa dito? Ano ba ang gustong mangyari? At higit sa lahat, suriin natin ang mabuti. Ito ba ay para sa ikabubuti ng karamihan? Ang grasya ng Diyos ay sapat sa isang taong gustong magpakumbaba at tanggapin ang kaniyang mabuting hangarin. Ang grasya ng Diyos ay sapat sa isang taong bukas ang puso at kaluuban sa kaniyang mga kagustuhan. Ngunit kung sa simula at simula pa lamang ay ayaw natin kahit gaano pa kadami o karami o kagaling ang taong nagsasabi o nagsasalita, kahit gaano ka ka-impluensya sa lipunan, kung ayaw makinig at ayaw maniwala ng tao sa iyo, wala at walang mangyayari. Kaya't sa araw na ito, tayo'y pinalalahanan mo rin ng ating Panginoon. Buksan ang ating puso, buksan ang ating isipan. Walang hinahangad ang Panginoong Hesus, kundi ang kabutihan ng bawat isa sa atin. At naway matuto tayong suriin ng mabuti ang kung anuman ang nararapat sa ating buhay. Ang grasya ng Diyos ay nandiyan para tayo gabayan nawa ay makiisa tayo sa kaluuban ng ating Panginoon. We all stand now for the prayers of the faithful.
Let us pray to God our Father that He may bring us closer to the values of the gospel to renew the church and the world. And every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today, to every new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are invested with executive, legislative, and judicial functions in society may consistently place the good of human beings above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May these offerings of our service place in your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony. Be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, 
we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection Until you call again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver De us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine service, fear of God, and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherds of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Lord is my inheritance. He is good to those who seek Him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is my inheritance. He is good to those, those who seek him. him. Let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord. May we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed, just as by your grace St. Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating panalamisa. We continue praying for each other. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will have the blessing of the prayer for the blessing of the sick, followed by the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Breathe them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, 
Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.